Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. Across the cosmos, galaxies are constantly shaping, reshaping, and breathing life into the universe. They aren't static islands of stars, they are dynamic, evolving systems, pulling in raw material, forging new stars, and expelling the remnants of old ones. But recently, astronomers made a discovery that challenges what we thought we knew about how galaxies grow, recycle, and survive. A team of astronomers, using the incredible vision of the James Webb Space Telescope, has found something astonishing, tiny dust particles drifting far beyond their home galaxy, surviving a treacherous journey through a hostile cosmic environment that should have destroyed them long ago. These fragile specks of cosmic dust are like tiny time capsules, each one carrying the story of its birthplace, yet venturing boldly into the unknown. The fact that they've survived at all has left astronomers stunned, and it's opening a brand new window into the life cycle of galaxies themselves. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is humanity's most powerful eye on the universe. Since launching in late 2021, it has been capturing infrared light from the deepest corners of space, revealing the birthplaces of stars, the architecture of galaxies, and even the faint glow from the earliest moments after the Big Bang. But in this case, Webb has done something unexpected. It has spotted the faint signature of dust particles traveling on a galactic wind, sailing away from their galaxy of origin, and somehow enduring a perilous voyage that should have reduced them to nothing. This revelation is shaking up our understanding of how galaxies work. Galaxies, in many ways, are like living organisms. They breathe. They draw in raw gas from the intergalactic medium, compress it into stars, and then, when those stars live out their lives, they blast elements back out into space, enriching their surroundings. This process of inflow and outflow, the cosmic breathing cycle, is what fuels future generations of stars. And now, for the first time, astronomers are directly seeing how dust, one of the essential building blocks of planets, life, and everything solid, can make it out of a galaxy and survive. The team's findings center on a distant galaxy named Makani. Its name means wind in Hawaiian, and that name could not be more fitting. Officially known as SDSSJ 21182406+001729.4, Makani is compact yet extremely massive, and it has experienced bursts of intense star formation. One starburst erupted about 7 million years ago, and another even larger one roared to life about 400 million years ago. These bursts acted like colossal fireworks, sending shockwaves and powerful winds through the galaxy. The combined force of supernova explosions and stellar radiation generated something truly monumental, enormous galactic winds spanning more than 326,000 light years, which is more than three times the width of our entire Milky Way galaxy. These winds carry gas and, as it turns out, vast amounts of dust. Dust might sound mundane, but in astronomy, dust is precious. It's made of heavier elements, carbon, silicon, oxygen, iron, elements forged in the hearts of stars and scattered in their depths. Without cosmic dust, there would be no rocky planets, no oceans, no living creatures. Dust grains clump together in cold molecular clouds, forming the seeds from which new stars and planets are born. And seeing how this dust travels through a galaxy, and even leaves it, tells astronomers how galaxies grow, evolve, and enrich the cosmos with the ingredients for life. Using JWST's powerful infrared instruments, the team led by Professor Sylvain Velo of the University of Maryland detected the delicate glow of something called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or PAHs. These are complex organic molecules that stick to the surface of dust grains. PAHs are an excellent tracer for dust behavior because they fluoresce in infrared light, which JWST can detect with extraordinary sensitivity. To the team's amazement, they found PHs drifting far out into the galaxy's halo of hot gas, an enormous bubble called the circumgalactic medium, or CGM. This halo surrounds most galaxies, like an invisible reservoir of gas and plasma that stretches for hundreds of thousands of light years beyond their visible edges. Here's where things get truly puzzling. The circumgalactic medium is not a friendly place for fragile dust grains. It's hot, extremely hot. The gas there can reach temperatures over 10,000 degrees Celsius, or about 17,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Under normal circumstances, any dust particle plunging into this kind of environment should be vaporized almost instantly. As Velo put it simply, it shouldn't survive. 
If dust touches gas at 10,000 degrees, it's going to vaporize it. And yet, here they were, clouds of dust stretching across hundreds of thousands of light years, glowing in Webb's images. The team discovered that while much of the dust has been eroded, it hasn't been destroyed completely. The pH molecules get smaller and more ionized the farther they are from Makani's core, showing they are slowly breaking down. This means the dust has been gradually worn away during its epic journey, which the team estimates has taken about 100 million years. Think about that, these tiny grains have been traveling for 100 million years, dodging destruction the entire way, just to reach the outer reaches of their galaxy. How could they possibly survive such a hostile trip? The astronomers propose a fascinating mechanism called cloud wind mixing. In this scenario, the dust grains are wrapped inside cooler pockets of gas, like passengers hiding inside protective bubbles, while the surrounding hotter gas slowly dissipates around them. These cooler gas clouds act like shields, letting the dust ride the galactic wind safely outward. This protective mechanism explains why JWST was still able to detect pH emissions so far away from the galaxy, long after the dust should have been obliterated. It's like finding snowflakes surviving in the middle of a desert windstorm, a near impossibility, and yet, there they are. This discovery has profound implications. Dust is not just a byproduct of star formation, it's a vital ingredient in the cycle of cosmic matter. If dust can escape galaxies and survive, it can travel into the vast spaces between galaxies, the intergalactic medium, and enrich it with heavy elements. Over billions of years, this process could spread the building blocks of planets and life across the entire universe. Follow-up research could push this idea even further, looking for dust grains even farther from their galaxies of origin. Some may be traveling on journeys spanning a million light years or more, drifting between galaxies like seeds on a cosmic breeze. If we can track their paths, we can begin to understand how galaxies exchange material with their surroundings, and how the universe slowly becomes richer in the elements needed to make worlds like ours. Makani's galactic winds also tell us something about how galaxies evolve over time. Those colossal winds, generated by ancient starbursts, are like a galaxy exhaling, blowing out the excess gas and dust after a fever of star formation. This outflow can slow down future starbirth by removing the raw material needed to make new stars. But some of that material may later cool down, fall back in, and spark new waves of star formation. It's a delicate balance, like a heartbeat, inhale, exhale, pause, repeat. Understanding this rhythm is key to knowing how galaxies grow over billions of years. Velo described it beautifully saying, from the Big Bang to today, galaxies are living beasts in a way. They're still evolving, and that cycle of gas in and out is important in knowing what will happen in the future. These drifting dust grains, though tiny, are part of that vast heartbeat. They are messengers, carrying the legacy of ancient stars out into the galaxy's halo, and perhaps even beyond, into the cosmic ocean between galaxies. This discovery also gives us a glimpse of what the early universe might have been like. In the first few billion years after the Big Bang, galaxies were forming stars at a frantic pace, blowing powerful winds, and filling the young cosmos with dust for the first time. If dust grains back then could also survive being blasted out into the intergalactic medium, they might have played a crucial role in enriching the universe with the elements needed for planets and life. The journey of Makani's dust could be echoing a process that helped make our own existence possible. It's remarkable to think that something as small as a grain of cosmic dust could carry such immense importance. And yet, these are the silent architects of everything solid, the soil beneath our feet, the air we breathe, the atoms in our bodies. Every grain tells a story that stretches across time and space, from the death of an ancient star to the birth of a new one, and maybe, someday, to the rise of life on a distant world. This groundbreaking research, published in the Astrophysical Journal in August 25th, is just the beginning. With JWST's unparalleled sensitivity, astronomers are now able to explore these delicate processes in incredible detail. They can watch how dust forms, how it travels, and how it shapes the destinies of galaxies. It's a new frontier, a chance to witness the hidden threads that weave the tapestry of the universe. As we continue to follow the journey of these tiny travelers, we are reminded of something profound. Even the smallest things can have the biggest impact. A single grain of dust, drifting on a galactic wind, can change the story of a galaxy, and perhaps, in some distant future, spark life itself.
If you enjoyed exploring the cosmic winds of Makani and the incredible survival of intergalactic dust, don't forget to like this video, share it with fellow space enthusiasts, and subscribe to Spaceverse. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss our deep dives into the wonders of the universe. Until next time, keep looking up because the universe is full of surprises waiting to be discovered.